Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight we're reviewing Star Trek, the official Starship Collection issue 102 and 103 from Eagle Moss. Sven, would you like to come in? 102 is the Klingon D5 class battle cruiser, which was in operation in the 22nd century, has a max speed of warp 6 and is 155 metres long. It is also green. Yes. It has disruptors and photon torpedoes. It's a shocking move for the Klingons. Um, there we go. Well, I assume it's a CG shot, considering... It's a CG shot. Yeah, they didn't ever make a model of the thing. Um, there we go, various shots, bits of information, the usual stuff. The um, usual stuff, The usual really. stuff. That's um, what you get from us hard-hitting reporting, yes. the usual stuff. And there's Juros, son of Tarar, who I assume ended up being grandfather of Juros or great-grandfather or something. Ooh. Topographical view! Warp nacelles? No. You shock me. Um, reactor cores and system, photon torpedo launcher in the usual place, twin disruptor cannon turret, um, yeah, so on and so forth. Special sensor, spectral sensor, multiple multi spectral sensor. Good God, the lighting in here is terrible. Get some bulbs. Um, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with LED eco efficiency lighting. You just needed the one job or two. That's all. Right, there's designing the D5. Quite why it wanted barrels underneath it, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Um, need an FX basically about the CG version of this. Uh huh. Think on history. Go Enterprise for rewriting big chunks of Klingon history. They didn't rewrite. Well, they, they created. Technically, they wrote created it in the first and, one. Put, and put stuff in the gaps where we're like, why, why were they? Why were they? We don't talk about it. I liked that. We talked about it now. Oh. Yes, yes. Now it is. The reason we don't talk about it is because the humans came to our rescue. <laughs> That's why we don't talk about it. There we go. And little bits of trivia. Uh, when it appeared in Judgment and Divergence, and about the next ship, which is the Vidian warship. Vidian. 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 I like the Vidians. Now rip your lungs out. Right. It is green. It is green. It is definitely Klingon. It is definitely Klingon. I'm not sure about that front section. I'm not sure about the colour. It is green. It, it's a very light shade of green. Yeah, it's almost a Romulan green. Mm. Other than that, yeah. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous model. That is really nicely detailed. Insane isn't it? amount of detail, nice weight in it. Yes, if I, if I collected Klingon ships, I would contemplate it. Yeah. However, I don't, so I would. I think it's um, too bright. Yeah, yeah, it that's, that's, seems to be a, a few shades too light to me to... Maybe it's because we never saw it next to a star. No, I'm <laughs> just arguing that it's too light for a Klingon ship generally. Yeah. I do like a deeper green for Klingon vessels. Mm. Um, but, you know, from a... The detailing is amazing, yeah. That's really nicely done. Mm? See, we've got docking ports on it. Okay. Right, well. If it wasn't for that colour scheme... If it wasn't for the colour scheme, it'd get a nine and a half. I'm yeah. going to give it an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. I'll give it an eight. Yeah. It's just the detailing. Is yeah, the detail is really, really good, and that's that's really nicely done. Really nicely done. <laughs> Should we do one I never thought they would do? Right, one Vidian warship. Okay, type warship in operation in the 2370s. Length 300 metres, maximum speed 9.6. I assume that's how they managed to get away from them. But it's slower than the Intrepid class. Okay, um, location Delta Quadrant. Well, to be fair, the Intrepid class can go faster than that, but only the other short period, yeah. 
Yeah. That's why the, the intrepid class got away from it. Because um, they didn't exactly go to a toe-to-toe battle with these guys, did they? They kept running no, no. away. Um, particle beam emitters and torpedo launchers. Okay, there we have a CG shot of the ship, which one would expect. One lovely shot of Ovidian with his bits falling off his face. Um, the usual, really. Okay, more shots, bits and pieces from the episode. Zzz. How many episodes does this turn up here? The warship? Yeah. It's the one. Two. Only the one. Okay. I don't remember Voyager very well at all. At least I have it all on DVD now, so I can rewatch it. Mm. Um, the Vidians cropped up a couple of times, but I only ever recall seeing the warship the once. Yeah. It um, doesn't need to say many times. You will do it at the back. Ah, okay. Probably. Um, it's where he comes up and it says eight. Yeah. <laughs> Main bridge, dorsal sensor array, so and so forth on the topographical view, which only has, yeah, has two elevations, which is weird. But hey, hey. Um, hey, you're a hoe. I wish. Um, and then moving into designing of said vessel, which is, you know, doing the job quite nicely. And oh, a little bit about makeup. That makes sense with the videos. With the um, First Voyager convention I ever went to, I went to the video. First Voyager convention? Mm. Not a Star Trek convention, it was a Star Trek Voyager It was convention. specifically a Voyager, yeah. Was I there, weren't you? No, no, you weren't. <laughs> um, okay. Is that Seska? Okay. Um, yes, um, Borg makeup, when the Borg were recreated to look like aliens. Which was a bit weird. See, so I just got to get the Borg in there somehow. Yeah, you got to yeah. get the Borg in. Borg in, Borg in. I um, still think Ben's got a real thing for the Borg. You think? Mm. Uh, any excuse to mention the inner light? Yeah, fair enough. Um, and it was in fact in at least Resolutions Encoder. Okay, there you go. And there's a monkey. R- remind me what year Voyager went off the air? <laughs> Some time ago. <laughs> yeah, just as much. There we go. Was it 99? No, 99 was when DS9 finished, so it must have been 2001. Is that when Enterprise started? 2001. Yes, that would make sense. Yeah, because it finished in 2004. Yeah. Because they Voyager and Enterprise didn't overlap, did they? Yep. They finished one and they went into the other. Um, there you go. It is tan. It is. Looks like a frisbee. Or a throwing star or something. Weird. From above it's okay, underneath it's horrible. They just went to exactly 0.001 amount of effort to hide any join lines. Yeah, that looks like a matchbox toy. I've had, clip, I've had clips of the models that joins were, were yeah. smoother in than that. But, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, Detail is okay. Never going to interest me in the slightest. Colours about right. Yeah. There's quite a lot of, of little. Yeah, the, the, there's lots of little the, bits. Uh, <laughs> the windows. Um, the detailing's okay. But yeah. The paint jobs. Yeah. Have, uh, have have a very quick look at the back for a second. Okay. How badly is this done? Ew, oh yeah, it looks like it's been overpainted about a million times to make it all fuzzy yeah. and glare. But yeah, those join lines are horrible. Yep. Wow. On the other hand, yeah, you see now, someone, somewhere along the line, would have made this. Because there are loads of Klingon fans out there. Yeah. Nobody's gonna have tried to do the video engine. No, I can't. Um, yeah. Um underwhelming. It's never a ship I would be in all that interested I don't in anyway. It goes on the stand that way. Oh no. Through yes it does. No but it does, it goes on the stand that way. I don't know why, that just looks incredibly flimsy and crap. Yeah. See the way you mounted it makes sense. Yeah, I think that's probably safer to do it that way. Yeah, I'd mount it that way. Yeah, I'd say that's safer. Totally mislines it with the base, but, but yeah. that looks like it's actually going to stay on it. Well, actually, I've got to admit, the first time I mounted it, I actually mounted it that Made way. Front. See, I think that way. But, as you correctly pointed out, that puts the ship backwards. 
on the other hand, you know, if I put that in my collection like that, I wonder how many people would notice that. To be honest, it looks more correct that way around. It does, because don't they look like they should, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sharon Bridges there. Yeah. <laughs> but this could be the bridge. <laughs> okay. It's the D and who knows how they did things. Anywho, moving Anywho. swiftly back on. Yeah. What, what are you scoring you? Oh. <laughs> See, the detailing's okay. But it's only okay. But it's only okay. That join line is hideous. The join line is the real issue for me. The join line is dropping it to a five. Mm, yeah, it is pretty hideous. Yeah. It's just... I'm going to join you on the five. They could have, they could have done a lot more. To I, I find it very difficult to get enthused about that ship because it's... Because it's... it's from a show that you're not a massive fan of no. and of a species you couldn't give a fudge about. Yep. Yep, okay, fair enough. Well, I have a slightly different opinion because you know I'm a big fan of Voyager. Um, I liked the Vidians. I thought there were some wonderful storylines, mm. although the ships are... Uh, there's, there's nothing inspiring about them. Yeah, so, yeah I'd okay. agree with that assessment. wraps it up for us but we'd love to read your comments so feel free to leave them in the comment section below you can subscribe to us here on youtube you can follow us on both facebook and twitter and of course there is the official geekology website thank you for watching and goodbye bye good night and goodbye it's only to good night yeah. <laughs> love, love, love. Yeah, i'm fucking just losing my marble <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stop that so we can do the next one eh? yeah i would would you like a tea or a coke Okay. Right, well, that about sums it up from us, but we'd love to read your reviews, so please pop that. Comments. Comments. <clears throat> well, that about sums it up for you. Quibble. Put your teeth back in. Mm. Well, I think that about sums it up for us, but we'd love to read your comments, so feel free to leave them in the section below. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And of course, there is the geek of that. Thank you for the... Every time. <laughs> Every time. Well, so, that again. Yeah.